Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. If you find these videos helpful, consider supporting me through Patreon. Today we're going to talk about project management, which is a little bit different than some of the other uses for Tableau. One of the things that, uh, here's a question that a client had asked for. He wanted to create a timeline for the entire program based on project start date and the last product's finish date. Um, and then wants to be able to do a couple of different filters. So the key here is going to be starting, getting the start date and the end date. We go over here, look at the table, finish date, a planned finish, planned start. There's also an actual finish and an actual start. This is for a university, different projects for a university. Now, the first thought is, and I've done this before in other places, we're going to just bring the start date over and we'll just change this to a shape instead of a, we'll just change it to a circle. So you've got the start date and we'll go back and change that to something a little more um, user friendly. But so we've got a dash and that sounds great. So let's put on the finished date as well. And how do you do it? Well, it doesn't work real well because you've got the start date on top and the finish date on the bottom and you only have one data point for each one and it's it's a real mess. When you come to the data source, if this was a table out of a, a SQL server, that's what I traditionally use, there's an option down here for a custom SQL query. We don't have that. And what we need to do is we need to get all of the start dates, we need to get all of the dates in one column, in one field, so we can bring them all over and put them on this line here and you can have uh, different items. I'm going to show you how we do that. Alright, so we're going to come back here, we're going to add a new sheet. This is, this is in Excel. Um, maybe you'll have to use this for other ones as well. I apologize, I am using my noisy keyboard because it's ergonomic and it's easier for me to use. So we're just going to grab the item number here. This is how we're going to link. I'm going to come over here to milestone. And then we'll come back over here to planned. We're going to do this for all of the dates. And this is planned start date. And this is going to be the milestone. And plan start. Apologize, that's going to be a little bit noisy. And I'm going to just. This is a little bit more data manipulation than you probably wanted. So we're actually going to. I'm just going to fast forward through this. So now we should have now we should have all of that in the right place. So we're going to come back to data source again. When in doubt, just reconnect. So there's our data. We're going to bring over first we're going to do milestones. Because uh, that's the question that we're trying to do now. Oops. We'll just probably have to come over here and we're just going to rename this. And we have, we need to change this to a dimension because that is the project name. We don't want to necessarily add anything to it. So there's a project name and now we can add date up here at the top. We're actually going to go down a little bit further and then we're going to add milestone to the color and let's see here maybe we can change this to, to a shape and we'll maybe add milestone to the shape and for actual planned start we'll have down arrow 
plan finish, or actually we'll do it the other way. Plan finish is down, and then when we get to solids, we'll do actual finish as a down arrow, actual start, up. Okay, and then we're gonna edit colors. We're gonna have, uh, what do we wanna do? Will the plans be dark and light? We'll add some shading so it makes it a little bit easier to follow. Let's see, band size of one. All right. And so now that will give us where the projects, you can see where it was supposed to start when it did. It was supposed to end there. And so you were a little bit further off, and you can scroll down. And you can see a couple of these actual start was looked like it was on the actual date it was supposed to start no no difference quick project there okay so then the question says okay well let's bring in all that other information so we're gonna have to create a new data source to bring in the original data and then we'll just bring this in and we'll call this one we'll rename this one. well actually we'll get and we'll come over here, back to sheet two. We're going to call this project detail. And actually, we could have probably blended it, maybe. We're going to do edit blend relationships. There's probably a better way of doing this, but I'm going to do it this way. We want it to link on the item number. There's item there. I swore there was a project detail. Oh, that's because item down here is listed as a, oops, is listed as a measure we need it to convert it to a dimension and then you'll see that that's linked up and so now we can just bring over project name to the project and as they say Bob's your uncle so that's one way of creating milestones what you have to do is create that either do a custom query or go into the Excel file and put them all into one place you need to get all the dates into one uh, field, and then your, the different names of the milestones can be in a second field. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when new videos are released. Check out some of these other videos I think you'll find helpful.